oil spill goes, it's already making an impact for the seafood industry here in Austin. KXA's Jared Wise joins us live in the studio to explain. Hi, Robert. Quality Seafoods has received a lot of attention over the past few months as customers and can the community gauge how the oil spill is affecting the seafood industry. And while oysters are still hot on the menu, they may become a little harder to find. All the seafood's good. I like everything. I like the variety. Quality seafood is a favorite for Brian Stewart. Come and eat it before it's too late. <laughs> His concerns are the same many have these days. The seafood industry is just now getting a taste of what the continuing oil spill is dishing out. And if it's any indication from the expression on this fish's face, it's not pretty. That's why I'm here getting me some seafood. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I better get it while I can. I mean, Gulf oysters are probably what's the most affected. And that's mainly an issue of timing. It seems the summer months, especially May through August, is off-season for oyster harvesting in Texas. So usually this time of year, local businesses would look towards Louisiana. We can't get anything from Louisiana. What little Louisiana is producing seems like it's being sold in Louisiana. So that's what we really rely on this time of year during the summer is Louisiana Gulf oysters, and that's dried up. And it's evident around the city. Many restaurants and stores like HEB are feeling the shell pinch. This sign at a local HEB seafood counter reads, we are currently out of stock on fresh Gulf oysters as a result of the oil spill. So it's forcing us to diversify and get, you know, oysters from all over. Which also means smaller oysters. Texas and Louisiana oysters are sought after for their big size. The new shipments from Florida just don't compare. We need bigger oysters. The Department of Agriculture is also posting signs like this to assure customers that the seafood they're eating from the Gulf is still safe. And we're trying to get the word out that, you know, Texas fish, shrimp, uh, shellfish is all safe to eat. And that's good news for Brian Stewart, who will keep coming as long as they're shelling out the seafood. I recommend come and see it. Now, because quality seafood is now getting their shipments from Florida, they're spending about $10 to $15 more per box for those oysters. But they're not passing that on to consumers. However, they do say if the problem gets worse, they may be forced to raise prices. In the studio, Jared Wise, KXN, Austin News.